YouTube, what's up, man? This gameplay is just to show you guys, man, it's not always going to be pretty. Now, I commit seven turnovers this game, seven. And I don't know if there's an NFL team that has ever won a game committing seven turnovers or if you guys have ever won a game committing seven turnovers. But uh, weekend league in July, there's a lot of enforcers. The zones are playing crazy. And sometimes I'm stubborn. I don't believe what I see. If I throw a pick, I'm saying he's not going to do that again. I'm going to try him again. Uh, and sometimes I do that all the time. This was Weekend League. Um, and if you guys want to watch me play live, my Twitch link is below. All my social media links are below. So let's see if I can overcome seven turnovers. So I'm playing Henny Chulo. And Henny is a guy that's been on the uh, Xbox leaderboards pretty much all the years, man. 16, 17, 18. So if you played Xbox, you've definitely run into Henny Chulo. Um, pretty decent player. You know, he used to stream a lot and really heavy in demand. And here early... Almost old pick. Now, he's going to put this quarter out here to guard this crossing route, and that's something right here. I run a streak to run him off. That way I can throw the crossing route. That's the big deal. What he does is he's going to just pinch and crash his line down, have really good contains with the middle linebackers as I try that crossing route again a little bit late, and that's turnover number one. Deion Sanders gets me, and he's going to run a little bit of tight doubles. Now, tight doubles, um, not really a popular formation. I remember Madden 12, it was really good. I ran it in Madden 12. Now, uh, like I said, not really that popular, not really that effective. It's going to come down to, and, and honestly, you don't run into it that much. Um, there's a fade to the outside. He's going to motion out to try to beat cover two. There is a corner route. He's going to motion out to try to beat cover two and a wheel route. So the corner route he motions out would be not cover two, but cover three, a deep blue. So you got to kind of call the right defense at the right time. And right here, we just have great coverage out here. And I'll tell you, this time of year, a good 2-3-6 or 1-4-6 is really, really tough to pass against because if you drop into coverage, you have all these fast guys with zone coverage. Really hard to, to, to really get somebody open on those type of players. And, and also, man, it can blitz and bring a lot of heat as I try to burn Pat Tillman, who he still has on the field, not able to get up top. Now, a lot of you guys on that last pick might have seen A open for a touchdown, but I tried it that time. I also saw it did not get pissed, so that's turnover number two. But I feel good about my defense. I feel like he's not going to score on me. And a lot of times, when you feel good on defense, it makes you get a little bit lackluster on offense, so to say, you, so to speak. You really don't need to score as much, and you can try to be a little more risky with the football. Uh, here we go with the fourth down, and we see that motion out corner route. Now, that's something we're going to have to try to contain the rest of the game. Obviously, the easiest thing to contain this motion out corner route is is cover two, but he wants me to run cover two because he has a motion out fade as he throws the corner route again. He has a motion out fade and a motion out wheel route. So those are the biggest plays against cover two. Here he goes to the fade right there, and we get a sack, bumble, clowny, pick it up, nothing. See, as many times as he hits you with the corner route, I'm not going to give in and just play cover two and give up that fade over the top. Here we go with the post route, boom. Right there, I had double post. He actually lurked the right one, so I kind of chose the wrong one there. Get an incompletion corner route over here. Julio Jones caught 21 yard lines. We're feeling good. We're going to go back to that corner route this time a little bit late and picked off again by Rams. That's three. Three turnovers, three interceptions. Uh, that one in field goal range, that one cost me three points because I'm guaranteed to get three here. And here he goes again with that motion out corner route. Now, that's killing me. It's kind of hurting me, but I don't want to give in and give up this fade route or that wheel route. Um, That would be an even bigger play. Here he goes, the ball way scramble. So he's mixing in this corner route post combo. I don't want to give in. See, once again, that time I actually lurked the corner and give up the post. So after that play, I realized I kind of have to guard the post myself. Uh, he goes back to the same play. It's pretty much the same thing. And I'm keeping the same defense because I don't want to give up that fade or that wheel route. And... Towards the second half or the second quarter, I start coming up with a plan here that I'm going to run a cloud flat out there as he goes, tries to look for a corner route here. We have everything boxed. We send Deion Sanders, and he pretty much takes the worst angle possible, and Vic gets out of there, uh, picks up a big chunk of yards on second down, gets to a third and manageable, goes again to that motion out corner route. That time, it was a, just didn't cover it well, but what I'm going to go to is a cloud flat on the outside and manned up with the safety. That way, uh, a fade won't beat me, and that way, the corner route won't beat me. So, kind of cover both things. Now, I'm going to go to that and towards the second half, and here you see it getting a sack that time. Cloud flat the outside corner and man up the safety on that side, and he goes to the wheel route because of that, but we get enough pressure to really stop that. Sack the quarterback. 
use my timeout to try to get some points before half as he finally gets some points on the board in the second quarter. Never thought a YouTube video would just be 3 nothing going into the end of the second quarter, but we have time to put points on the board. I feel fine. I feel like his defense is not good. I'm just making bad passes. Uh, I feel like there's not that much pressure on me as I get sacked as I say that. But there's not that much pressure, and the coverage isn't amazing. Here we go. We try to roll out. The contain gets me. Spin back to the middle, and of course, it wouldn't be a video without a Michael Vick fumble. This time, it's in the end zone, and it's for a touchdown. So we call a timeout to get the ball back to try to score points, but we wound up giving him seven points. So that's turnover number four. So I cost myself uh, throwing picks in the end zone. I cost myself uh, fumbling for a touchdown right there. So a lot of things, as we throw another pick here, this was with no time on the clock. I don't know if it really counts, but we're going to count it. That's turnover number five. Ugly, ugly, ugly first half. Five turnovers in one half. Uh, but we're down 10 nothing. Uh, this is manageable. And as I told you guys all the time, we been down before. So just got to focus on, make some plays, make some plays on defense. Somebody has to spark the team. Somebody has to make a huge play. There you see it right there. I'm going to man up, man up the safe, man up those two guys. The one thing about receivers in this game is everybody's absolutely boxed. If they don't have an ability, you can man them up, jam them, really punk them. And that's pretty much what I try to do because he only has one ability as we get the huge lurk right there. Sean Taylor, take it to the Baja. Listen, if you want to turn the ball over on offense, the best thing you can do is score on defense. That's what we do right there. Get that seven points. Get right back in the game, only down by three. But like I said, if your receiver doesn't have an ability, you can put hands on him. You can get him at the line. You can beat him up. Honestly, with the way the corners are, I have Pat Pete and I have Ronnie Lott. You can get physical, and you can not even worry about the receivers without an ability. Here he goes. Bang. That time he went to the wheel route. Perfect defense. Quarter out there. Ronnie Lott, can you buy high? No, did not get up fast enough. I'll tell you, when you catch a pick, you get up with zero sense of urgency. You're just cool. There we go. We get actually get sacked that time. Uh, Michael Strahan gets through the line somehow, some way. Here we go again. Going to that corner route. Boom. And somehow a linebacker picks me off. Turnover number six, interception number five. Uh, we're still only down three, but we get it right back. Patrick Peterson, best corner in the game. Baja shot number two, 14 points on defense. Hey, it doesn't matter if you turn the ball over that many times if you're going to score on defense and hold your opponent to absolutely nothing. That's what we're doing right here. So things are looking rough, but as long as we're up on the scoreboard and we're making plays on defense and a man can't get a first down, then you're doing all right. So once again, now, I mean, I feel like I've got the remedy. I have the absolute box for this tight doubles. And here we go. Just quarters out here. Again, Patrick Peterson. Try him if you want. Interception. Boom. I don't know how many combined turnovers we have. I know I had five interceptions myself, so I don't know what he threw. Have to go back and tally that on the, on the box score at the end of the game. There's Fletcher Cox getting through the gap. Making the sack right there. You know those abilities. Just tough. He's bunching up everybody. You see bunching everybody up. And Vic fumbles again. This one was almost a turnover, but wasn't it? But he's really just pinching everybody, crashing them down, and just attacking the middle of my offensive line. Third down. This is a concession run. We're going to go ahead and take our field goal. Go up 17-10. The way this game is looking, there's no chance he scores seven. Not going to happen. I feel fine. Fine and dandy. So we're good. Um, just got to keep doing I feel Like I said, I feel like I have the remedy. Man up these safeties. Really get physical with the solo wide receiver because he, and I give up the post route again, because the solo wide receiver, he has no ability. So I'm just going to press him to death. Here we go again. This time we get the sack. Come around the edge. Deion Sanders, Miles Garrett cleans up the mess. I'm telling you, this is just, this cloud flat cross man is really giving him trouble. Give him nowhere to go. And that's what I mean. The first half, these plays kind of popped me. Try a little bit as we get the fumble right there, picked up by Taylor Mays. We get the ball. We're, this two minutes, 33 seconds left. This game is all but put away. Put it in the fridge. Here we go. Hit the cross and round. Boom. Randy Moss field goal range. Now, honestly, I should go on conservative. I should relax. I should calm down. Corner route. Boom. Right there. But we drop it. And the one that stops the clock. Boom. We should just be able to, we should just be running the ball nice and easy. Here we go. Playmaker. Boom, right over there, Randy Moss. Catch a juke, take it to the Baja, but no. Turnover number seven, computer strip. But uh, those are situations where um, 
I could have played smarter. Honestly, once you're in field goal range up seven, you could honestly take knees and run the clock, make him use his timeouts, and take that two-possession lead and make him kick the ball. But I didn't. I do the ball uh, because I have ADD and I need to have fun. I need to uh, keep playing as we give up this crossing route right here. Ronnie Lott a little bit too slow right there on Julio Jones. So we are da- we are up by seven, feeling good. He hasn't got anything going. Swat away that hitch. There's nothing there. Next play, he's just going to run. Use a timeout. I'm cool with that. That's fine. This play, I'm going to stumble with my user. And because of that, Brandon Cooks is going to be open. Baja, he finally switched the play up. But that was my responsibility. I stumbled with my user before the snap. That has happened to me a lot this year. I think it's because I go to contain by hitting LB, then RB. And he snaps the ball, and the RB kind of registers as a hit stick or a strip animation. I stumble. Uh, and give up that huge play because at this point in the game Brandon Cooks was my responsibility but all these timeouts plenty of time I have done more with less as we go to this corner route that we haven't gone to all game boom Randy Moss in field goal range GG's that's gonna do it finally going conservative here we're gonna run the ball keep the clock running you come out in field goal now he has to use a timeout so he only has one left there's really nothing he can do right here as we run the ball again get a first down and this is what you do. You come out when the clock is running in field goal in, in field goal. Now, you can't do this in regs. You can't do this on man because of the runoff. You'd have to use your timeout in the huddle. But with me, with Mutt, with no runoff, which honestly, I hope next year there's runoff. The, the same clock rules should apply to every mode as we kick this game-winning field goal. But and unlike last video, because I actually hit a perfect kick, I don't have to worry about getting blocked. But I hope next year every mode has the all Madden uh, time settings. All modes should be on all Madden. Uh, I, I really don't see why not. I don't see who says no to that. But that would be great. Like I said, all game modes should be on all Madden. And like I said, remember, the game can be ugly. You don't have to win pretty. Seven turnovers. Uh, so I don't know if you've ever won a game with seven turnovers. I don't know if an NFL team has ever won a game with seven turnovers. Pretty amazing. We are able to come out with the victory in that game. Just... Play defense, make some plays, two defensive touchdowns. That's how you get things done when you're not clicking on full cylinders on offense. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe. We are keeping the momentum going for Madden 21.